Welcome to this video. This is a tutorial intended for beginners and people who are just starting out for the first time learning how to program. This is going to go over the command line and what a batch file is. So I'll talk about the command line. If you'd like to skip what the command line is and go straight into what a batch file is, you can do that here. Otherwise, I'm going to open up my start menu, type in CMD, and open up my command line. This is a part of Windows where you can uh, make commands uh, for different parts of the computer. For instance, if I want to make a folder on my desktop, I'll type in a certain code. And as I type in codes in here, I'm going to go over what they are and what they mean in subsequent videos. So don't think you have to know what I'm typing. Just know that uh, this is just a demonstration of what the command line is. I'll type in MD. I want to create a folder called copy on my desktop and it creates a folder called copy. Let's say I want to move all the contents from this secure folder into this copy folder. I'll open up the copy folder so you can see what's going on. It's an empty folder right now because we just created it. I'll type in a copy command. And it copies everything from the secure folder into the copy folder. So that's uh, the basics of command line. What's important though is you can automate um, a lot of tasks using command line. But it's a pain to type in all that code. So a batch file is, allows you to enter those uh, commands into the command line without having to type it out each and every time. For instance, I just created a folder called copy and I copied all the contents from the secure folder into the copy folder. And I can do that um, again by just double clicking this file I wrote. And it creates a folder called copy and it puts in all the contents of the secure folder in the copy folder very quickly, very autonomously. Um, you can do all sorts of things with this. I wrote this program called secure that will hide the secure folder so I just type in Y enter and it makes the folder locked you can't access it and if I double click and say password I can enter in a password and my secure folder comes back I also programmed it to uh, copy to a hidden backup location so that if I lose all my files like I just deleted all I have to do is lock my folder and then if I unlock my folder it automatically backs up any information that's been lost. So all these things can be very handy um, and I will go over how to start making these batch files in the next video. You can find that video here and uh, if this video has been any help whatsoever please subscribe that's the best way to help me back and I'll see you next time.